What is up guys, it's Kago coming at you with another guide. Today we have a very interesting twist. This is going to be a power level guide as well as a money guide. So right now I'm on my priest who is level 32, about to be level 33. You can come in here at level 30, I say, 29 to do this. So really what you see is um, you have a warrior level 60 pre-geared and what he does is he just pulls in, kills them all and having a pre seal bot, you're able to heal. Now he is a pretty geared DPS warrior. He has a good farming set. Um, so to keep that in mind with how much he's pulling as well as I'm a pretty skilled priest with twink gear. So... I can heal him through fighting all these. The average player probably can't do this, honestly, because it requires gear as well as a few other things. And then pretty much what we do, um, he also has the Shazam Blade from um, Naz, um, from the last boss in Strath. So that helps us with a lot of buffs and it's just amazing for power leveling. Now, because I ran out of mana like a bot, he might die here. I don't know. Trying. Whew! Alrighty, we got him. Probably shouldn't have got rid of my mana pots. <laughs> But, you know, little little hiccup there, but we made it through. You know, right now we're just trying to min-max and test it. But you literally make money just by killing those and looting them. Like, they drop a pretty decent amount of gold. Splitting it up, we get that. As well as the EXP per hour, we're averaging about a level per hour. Um, a big thing is these bosses, the loot table at the end here. Um, Scarlet Monastery Cathedral. Um, white main and more grain. These items disenchant into small radiant shards, which because they're used in those enchants that I've previously mentioned, like fiery web and other things, um, they actually have a significant value. Like people want those. And so because of that, you can just run these, you get about two shards. You could get some BOEs that Brock as well as just BOEs a vendor for gold. So it's a it's not the best gold farming, it's not the best EXP, but together it's a great way to sort of level um an alt as well as um get some money while you're doing it. Like you can pay for it just by helping a friend with ease. The only thing required is enchanting. There are three herb spawns that I usually get, so it's actually pretty good on gold thorn life fruit and other stuff like that so i'm gonna end it here and i will fast forward to after an hour of this just to show you where i'm at i'm level 32 with um about 85 percent is where we started so i'll definitely be 34 might even be 35 by the end of this so i'll show you results after an hour be right back Whoop! Alrighty guys, we are back here at the end. We got about three runs done in an hour. We totaled 28 gold and 7 gold and 63 silver was just looted. Um, we got about 10 stacks of silk cloth, one stack and some change of mage weave cloth. And the biggest thing is we got 7 small radiant shards and one lesser nether. So if we take these... Uh, small radiant shards so that's 21 gold on our auction house right now so we add that to that as well as nether and we got a few of these scarlet belt and gauntlets so it totals in about 60 gold in an hour as well as we're now level 33 and a half we started this at 32 with 85 percent of our level so we total that in an hour three runs you make about 60 gold as well as um you make 60 gold in an hour as well as almost the entire level at level at a lower level 30. So I just want to let you know and huge thanks to Krogs for being willing to power level me and test um, something like this as well as level up. It was really awesome of him to do this. 
that sort of helped me. And yeah, I hope this helps you guys level your alts as well as get you guys some quick, easy money in the way. So thank you all, and I hope you have a great day. Later. Ah ha ha, you thought I was over, but I actually got a little bonus extra thing for something that you guys can do to make a little extra money. So I've been running a lot of sh um, Scarlet Monastery Cathedral, and something that drops so much there is silk cloth. So say you're like going to the bathroom AFK for 10 minutes, what you can do is you can go to your first aid and you can make heavy silk bandages and you make about one silver per time you do this. So right now I'm going to make about three gold just by making heavy silk bandages. It's not that much income, but as we see silk, one silver and 50 copper. And if we use two of them, that'd be about three silver, just vendoring it flat out. And they sell for four silver. Now I looked into normal silk bandages. They're one silk to make, but sell for two silver. So it's the margins are the exact same. You make 50 silver or 50 copper per uh, band-aid use. So it's just something to do with your cloth. I seriously cannot find any enchanting, any tailoring, anything else to do with silk. So I hope this is something that you can do with your all that silk cloth you have. You can save it to level if you want. Um, but yeah, I don't have anything else. So I just want to let you know that's just a nice way to do that. So anyway, this is the real end of the video. So I hope you have a fantastic day. And until next time, bye bye just want to say thank you guys so much for all the support for these guides. We've been at it for a few days right now, and we have found so much support. They've been much better than our Fortnite. I love doing them. I love making them, and I'm so happy they help. So if you could please like, comment, subscribe, I would sincerely appreciate it. And we can help you all get your epic mounts and whatever else you need. So thank you all, and have a fantastic day.